What is the real reason then of Martin Luther King's legacy? What is the real message? And how can we be a part of that? You know, there are some folks who say, now that the United States has elected an African-American president, Barack Obama, that racism and bigotry and all those things, we're past that. We also know, based on studies, that the millennials, of which many of you are a part, see diversity and don't see it as a problem. That's a good thing. But I'm not sure that because we happen to have a black president, because we happen to have African Americans and people of color and women in all walks of life, I'm not quite sure that Dr. King's legacy has been fully realized. In fact, Mr. Mandela happened to say this. I want to make sure I get his quote exactly right. He said, a nation should not be judged by how it treats its highest citizens, but rather how it treats its lowest citizens. Would you agree with me that we may still have a little work to do? You see, when we're reaching out to learn about other people, when we want to understand, sometimes we're going to make a mistake. Sometimes we're not going to pronounce somebody's name quite right. But if we catch ourselves and say, you know, I really want to know how to say your name correctly. Can you work with me? Do you think you might have just made a friend? Because so many of us as Americans are lazy about other people's names. We give them nicknames when they haven't asked for it. If we can't say their name. How many teachers and educators send a negative message to their students because they either don't call on them because they can't say their name, or they give them a nickname or say their name wrong. It's not intentional, but diversity is not about intention, it's about the result. Valuing the difference in others is not just about saying the right words. It's about showing up and being present because you never know how your presence and your words might change the lives of the people with whom you interact. So I challenge you to connect with your brain, that's the knowledge. To connect that knowledge just 17 inches lower to your heart, which is where your compassion is. Be willing to understand and accept. And then most importantly, lean into your fear and find your courage to speak up and make a difference here at Elon, in this community, in this state, in this country, on this planet. Because if not you, who?